Hey everybody, I need to shoot a quick video to act as an intro to the videos that I've already done. Um, this video that you're about to watch, um, I recorded it and I recorded him thinking that it was cold reading when actually after I've uploaded the videos the next day, I woke up to find that somebody who follows our channel, uh, thank you very much, you know who you are, um, sent me some screenshots. And this is a person who had had readings with Thomas John for a while um, and totally believed in him. And turns out that they, well, over time, they've learned that um, he's actually not what they thought he was as you can see in these videos. So what we found out later, all well, I found out this morning is that just like Thomas does, Thomas John does later in his career, where, where I'm a little more familiar with him in 2019, 2020, when he's going to be doing a show, he posts on Facebook saying, Hey, everybody, anybody want a reading? <laughs> I'm going to be on this show. And so people will post and they will say, I'd like a reading. And he goes, great, call me at this number or call this number at this time. And what is happening is, is there's the Facebook post that the person has left. Like, so if uh, Mary Jones says, I'd like a reading, and he goes into Mary Jones Facebook page because there's the her Facebook page right there. Um, he says, yeah, you'd be great. So make sure you call in at this time and I'll give you a reading. And what happens is he's already got enough information to do a two or three minute reading. And trust me, it takes a minute or two to get the get enough information for somebody. I mean, it could take two or three minutes max to find a couple things that you need to, to uh, tell somebody. And they're not hard to find this information. So what I think is going on is that some of these readings are cold and some of the readings are start out as cold reading and then they move into information that he knows. And the reason why I feel like that's what's happening is because if, if Mary Smith calls in and all he sees on the screen or all he's told is Mary is here, then he starts out with a generic cold reading. You know, I'm getting an older family member, you know, it looks like a woman who wants to come through. Is, is this your mother or is this your grandmother? You know, standard medium stuff. And then whenever he's talking to her, her, he tries out some of the information on the Mary he's expecting to show up. And that's when it moves into a hot reading. So I think that's what's going on. Um, the host probably is totally unaware of all this. The person who's screening is probably completely unaware of this as well. So I think that uh, some of these readings are going to be cold and a few of them are going to be hot. Uh, let me show you a screenshot from the person who sent the um, information to me. And my team has spent the day trying to find more and we have some more. But just for time reasons, I'm just going to show you what I've got right here. And so... What Thomas John did is he's emailing the person. Um, the person emails him first, and then he says, well, would you like a reading on the show? And here's, here's the person right here. Hello, I'm interested in the recorded reading I saw on Facebook. Thank you. And then they give him the phone number, and then they call in, and they're able to, to get a reading. The person that sent me the screenshot did get a reading from Thomas John the next day on the same program that we're talking about. And um, she, the person told me that they was a little bit accurate and a little bit vague. And some of the predictions he made back in 2015 still haven't happened or 2016 still haven't happened. <laughs> so um, we have other people that were finding these, these screenshots where people who are saying, I want a reading, I want a reading, which makes it very easy for him to go in and, and find the information, him or one of his one of his um, confederates would be able to um, find that information for him.
So we'll we'll report back and probably in future videos as we find more information. But I just wanted to get this on the record because in the second video that I have in this series, I I quite honestly thought he was cold reading everybody. And so when he starts getting some hot readings or, or some really accurate information in this video, part two in this series, I said, good job, Thomas John. I don't know how you did that. Really good job. You know, you, you definitely scored some hits on that. Like I said, I wake up in the morning and I find out that these are hot readings mixed with cold readings. And so that person that I thought looked sounded legit and the reading sounded like he just got some really good hits now we know why so enjoy the rest of the videos if you do like this channel and you find this interesting doing a deep dive in mediumship and like me you find this fascinating especially the psychology of it please like please subscribe i would love to have your comments as well so enjoy the rest of the videos thanks Well, this is part three. We are looking at 2016 Thomas John, um, Manhattan medium before he becomes the um, seatbelt psychic and the Thomas John experience dude. He is on WWWABC with Laura Smith, who is a friend of his. And it's Mother's Day in May of 2016. And he is taking calls on the show it's a radio show and they're videotaping it this time and it the first video i i did first one it um so check out the other two if you're if you just found this one just on its own first first uh reading he did for somebody named michelle got nothing right just um the second reading he did monica he had a lot of general statements at the beginning and then you get some really good hits very good hits so this is the third one i have not listened to this you're listening to it the same time i'm listening to it if you want to pause this look at the description of the video i have i have in there the link to this video if you want to watch it on your own without listening to my analysis at all uh, do that uh, leave leave some comments of what you think is going on and what happens um, I'm really interested in hearing your responses um, and then come back and play my and get my analysis of the reading. But remember, I'm listening to it at the same time you're listening to it. So I don't know any better than you. Um, Thomas John is not never been a really great cold reader. Um, and um, I'm assuming he's cold reading these people. I mean, it is possible to hot read people who are calling in. It's possible if you have your friend call in or you have some kind of information ahead of time or you had something going on. But I'm assuming that these are cold reading and he doesn't have any contact with these people. This is early Thomas John 2016, and it's really interesting to go back and look at these. So let's see what we what we think. Oh, by the way, if you like this video, please subscribe. Please hit the um uh, bell so that you'll know whenever I'm uploading new videos I do these and you know whenever I you know have some time and I'm in the mood to do it it's really late here where I'm recording and I've probably got five more to go I don't know if I'm gonna get through them tonight but let's let's see let's try let's try at least this one more and see what we think okay hang in there y'all okay apparently this caller is named Gary Oh, Gary's back. Awesome. Gary in New York, who's been on the line since last Sunday night. How are you? Thank you so much. Oh, thank you for taking my call. Good evening. Good evening, darling. What's your question for Thomas John, the Manhattan actually, Medium? Um, is, is there any messages for myself from the other side? Is your mom passed? Yes. Yeah, she's so strong. I feel her around you, definitely, for sure. Now, I don't feel, I don't, this is not recent, right? No, very. March 29th. Okay. There's another person coming, too, so that goes back further. So did you know your mom's mom? No, uh, yes. Actually, I barely remember her. Mm -hmm. She died when I was, like, an infant. Yeah, she's, I feel that she's coming through, too. Your mom says you were very good to her. She said that you did a lot of good by her. Did you take care of her at the end? Yes, 
did yeah. everything for her. She said she wasn't easy at the end, too. No. <laughs> um, but that's okay. But she she's definitely... Do you have a brooch of hers? I should have all her jewelry. Yeah. yeah she wants you... There's things that she... I don't know if you don't have siblings or they weren't really as involved. Do you not have siblings that really helped you with all this? No, unfortunately, I had a brother, but he died when I was like, um, mm-hmm. like a young teenager. Yeah, okay. Was it like a sudden thing? Yes. Yeah. Well, she's with him too, but I want to say I feel you very alone in dealing with your mom's stuff. So I knew that there was some sort of connection where, like, you know, there wasn't a lot of people to help you out. Your mom's in a better place, though. She's telling me, like, the last year and a half, two years, she was kind of tired. She was kind of, like, didn't want to be here as much anymore. But she feels like you did really good by her. I want to tell you also, do you write? Not really. I think you should. I see writing with you. I don't know why, but I feel like there's a side to you with writing or creative through writing or something like that. Maybe if you open up to it a little bit more. Also, what is the June connection? June, July? June, July? June, July. I don't, I, That's okay. Sometimes you get these things later. It's kind of. It's, sometimes it's hard oh. when you're on the spot. But somebody's. I think it's June. But somebody's bringing up something. It's like either birthday, death date. Um, no, there was actually there's um, kind of like a family event coming. Oh, June. That you're going to be seeing people. If I go, I haven't decided to okay. go yet. Okay. Okay. That might be what they're bringing up. Um, but I just want to tell you, yeah, you're, 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 and she, you know, she, I think she's still hanging around you. So when there's little weird things that happen, things with electricity and stuff, I mean, their vibration is definitely around you, but it's almost like she wants to honor you. And I think it's mother's day, you know, her energy is really fueled to you, but it's almost like she wants to say, you know, you were a good son and she just really wants to point that out. Gary, thank is you. Is there s- any other message for my father? Well, oh, your dad who's passed? Yes. I'm not feeling him so much, but, you know, it's probably because it's Mother's Day. There's a really a strong connection with that energy right now. But, you know, call back in a couple weeks and ask about your dad. I'm sure he'll come through. Oh, nothing but, for my brother as well, I'm assuming, right? Well, I feel your brother, but it's more about your mom today. Okay. okay. Thank Gary, you. thank you so much. I re- oh, my gosh. Well, how dare his father and his brother not come through? <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. Okay. What do you guys think? Write your comments in the comment section before you hear me, you know, put pause. Tell me what you think. I'm really looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Put them on the YouTube channel. I really want everybody to be able to see what your thoughts are, especially those of you who've been watching these videos and starting to really learn And, you know, we're learning a lot together. So Gary calls. Apparently, Gary has been on hold for a long time, and he really wants to talk to Thomas John, which means you have a motivated listener, a sitter, who's going to help uh, help along. It's Mother's Day. This is Mother's Day. So uh, mom is coming through. Like, I guess they know that or something. I don't know. Um, your mom passed. Okay. Like I said, almost always with the cold reads, it starts off with, um, some, a, an obvious one, you know, somebody older, they make a judgment based on the sound of the person's voice about how old they might be. And if they think that it's a mother or a grandmother or, a, or, you know, male or female, and they, they like kind of play the odds a little bit by saying it like a father figure or a mother figure. So if their mother or their father is still alive, then they can kind of default to, well, it's somebody who was kind of like a mother or kind of like a father and somebody close to you like that. The thing about, um, did you take care of your mother? Again, he asked, did you take care of your mother? Everybody wants to think that they took care of their mother, whatever that means, took care of your mother. To some people, it might mean you know, they were actually there cleaning up and, and taking into appointments and, and handling her medication. Other people, it might mean something different that, you know, they were looking after their mom's finances or they were, um, you know, making sure that the doctors, the bills got paid and things like that. So it's just kind of a generic thing to say is, were you taking care of your mother? And most people are going to say, yeah, I was. And 
hardly anybody I would think would say, no, I really didn't have anything to do with that. <laughs> um, jewelry, do you have a brooch? Well, it's very likely you're going to still have your mother's jewelry. That's unlikely to ever be thrown away or given away. So having jewelry around, of course, you have jewelry around of your mother's. Do you have siblings or do you have somebody to help you? I'm not seeing anybody who is around to help. Okay, that's interesting. Um, that was right, but then it's kind of a guess. And he kind of did say, do you have? And then, so then here's where the, the sitter overshares, which is very common. It's kind of hard on a phone reading because you know you have a very limited amount of time. Thomas has got to move on to the next person. So this guy manages to get in there that his brother had died um, when he, the sitter, Gary, was a teenager. So um, Thomas John said, was it a sudden death? Now that's most likely a sudden death, I would suppose. I have not done a study on this or anything, but I would assume that a person who's dying in their teens or 20s, you know, he doesn't actually say um, how old his brother was, but the sitter, Gary, was in his teens when his brother died. So I would think that's likely to be a, a sudden death, you know, an accident or something of the sort. Mom's in a better place. I hate it when they say that kind of stuff because that's just a platitude. And he's just, that's, come on now, who's going to say that the mom's not in a better place? Do you write? No. Well, maybe you should. Okay, so that's what I think. This June-July connection. Oh, my gosh. That is just really, I mean. Uh, two months out of the year? What are your odds? Two months out of 12? Of course, there's a June or July connection. Thomas was a little frustrated there thinking that, that the guy couldn't think of a birthday, an anniversary, or anything that was happening in June and July. And then Thomas John says, he said something like, well, you'll think of it later because this, you know, you don't have time to think about it right now. In other words, it's your fault. You don't have the, the connection to the June or July. It's your fault for not thinking about it. Then the guy comes up with, oh, yeah, yeah, there's going to be a family event this summer. No kidding. Your family is going to get together in the summer for some sort of party Okay. Weird things and electricity. Another that's another one of those medium tropes. If there's like static or or anything odd, that means they're around. I hate that. And then the guy, you know, throws out, oh, what about my dad? What about my brother? Thomas Sean's like all flippant about it. Well, you know, it's Mother's Day. <laughs> they're not call back in a few weeks. You know, if your dad is on the other side and they and they see that you're in, you're got a world famous Thomas John is sitting right there and he's connected to your to your son Gary and your father and your brother are like, oh my gosh, this is our moment, this is our chance. Oh no, it's Mother's Day. Sorry, I can't say anything. <laughs> you know. So um, okay. You guys have watched this channel a bunch of times. What is it that I'm going to say next? I'm going to say, what is missing? Okay, what is missing? Well, the father didn't get mentioned and the son didn't get mentioned. And Thomas John almost seems surprised about the father. Oh, your dad's dead too? Well, of course he is. Um, he took care of his mother. You know, he's all by himself. But no names were mentioned. The mother's name was not mentioned. Um, causes of death locations anything like that were mentioned um the brother nothing there i would think that he might have said your brother's name is uh george isn't he no nothing mm. mom's grandmother her name wasn't mentioned did you know your mom's grandmother no not really well your mom says that you were really nice to um to her whatever she was you know you were taking care of her no mom said that you were abusive to her i mean come on what is she what is he gonna say 
So that was the cold read. That was a pretty good cold, not a pretty good cold read, but a good example of a cold read. And you can see this is, like I said, this is kind of at the beginning of Thomas John's career. And he's really using a lot of those psychic tropes um, that are, you know, electricity and, and so on. I'm, I'm expecting any time now that there's going to be more dogs that are going to show up and um, birds, cardinals, um, coins, um, music being played for you, all that kind of stuff. So I haven't heard, uh, um, what did we hear on the first one? I heard something on the first one. What was it? One of those other ones. Um, a dog. There was a dog, a brown dog, and it could have belonged to the mother or it could have been to, who knows who it could have been to the nephew or somebody else that doesn't, he didn't know. He doesn't do dog breeds. Anyway, so Gary, I wonder if he calls back in a few weeks, if Thomas John's on this show again, but that was all pure cold reading. That I mean, that wasn't exciting like the last one where he got some things right. It's just kind of nothing there. Anyway, Leave me your comments. Maybe I missed something. Please leave comments. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell and give me a nice like. I hope you like it. Um, leave me feedback and I'll get back to you. And let's go see what the other ones are. I think I could do another one before I have to get to, get to bed tonight. <laughs>